Good day, my friends. I am the Mad Monster Maker. Come with me and take a ride and journey through my mind's eye. What you're about to see is the primary work from the Mad Monster Maker himself. What could be more appropriate than to open with my very favorite of on-screen monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein? Only one of the many busts I've painted. This bust is taken from one of the geometric design kits. A line of kits I'll continue to work most likely forever. But let's not forget the poor monster himself. There's nothing like the black and white classics of film. Here is a diorama I created of Frankenstein bursting out of the forest with the policeman's arm in hand, staggering into the cemetery. How can we not feel pity for this creature made from dead body parts, brought back to life, and not having a clue what to make of it? Another movie monster from the same period was the Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr., an actor surely to be remembered in that role as the monster. Here I've tried to adhere to the palette closely suited for the subject matter and only enhancing the beast for drama's sake. Another fantastical creation is from the era of the 1950 B-rated sci-fi flicks. For sure, the creature from the Black Lagoon is a classic. Here is the bust and base I painted and the diorama I created from two different models. I loved creating the waterfall and the effect of the diorama being above and below the waterline. I really had a blast doing it. Still lingering on those 50s B-rated flicks, I worked a little diorama of the Geobust, the Metaluna Mutant, using our planet Earth as the base and taking the spaceship from the movie This Island Earth. Without a doubt I'm caught up in the 50s, taking this bust and as many tiny hairs as I could find and brought this adaption of the fly to life, so to speak. I found we watchers love as much gore as we can get while calling it visual pleasure. So I've learned how to simulate goo, drool, entrails, and blood. Going further back in time to an era where film had no sound nor color I chose to pick other busts that brought great delight to my senses, like Lon Chaney's London After Midnight, Nosferatu the Vampire, Dr. Jekyll's Mr. Hyde, and again, Lon Chaney's Masterpiece, The Phantom of the Opera. Each bust was more than a joy to do. Each one let me live out my own journey through horror. Now let's roll our time machine forward to more current creatures of horror, mayhem, and fantasy. One of my very favorite creators of creatures is Mr. Ray Harryhausen, and one of my all-time favorite movies, Jason and the Argonauts. Here I've created a diorama, which has been procured by a museum called the Museum of Monsters, Myths, and Legends. In this diorama we find Jason, outnumbered and overrun by an army of skeletons springing up from the earth. I'm also proud to say that this piece won the Grand Pooh Bar Award at the 2009 Chilla Theater Model Show. I'm really not too much for comics, but I do love the Joker from the Batman series of villains. In this diorama, I've dragged our Joker Man into his own world of chaos and fantasy by creating an Alice in Wonderland of design. I had a great time creating all of the different elements in wood and clay, making the Joker in a box and fireplace in total. After the piece was complete, I found myself in a bit of a dilemma, for the scale of the Joker was larger than the diorama's set design. Oops. No matter, being the creative sort that I am, I decided to write a story incorporating my mistake as a plus. Just another reason to write another tale. I'm always looking for another form of stimuli to create. Evil, horror, 
and mayhem. It's all part of the game for this creature. The devil has been around way too long for me to count. He's been used in countless ways and depicted in thousands of scenarios. Another one of my favorite movies was Legend, starring Tom Cruise as the forest dweller, and perfectly cast Tim Curry as none other than the devil himself. I can't fathom there ever will be a more horrid nor sinister design for Beelzebub. Fright Night, my latest project. I was commissioned by a fellow from Italy who challenged me to come up with a design using the Fright Night house as a backdrop for the geometric design bust of Amy, just one of the vampires from that flick. In the past, I had worked on Amy, my favorite vampire ever. I've been asking the Geo people for a base for that bust for the longest. So to have her base come out at such an appropriate time, and then another three busts, Evil Ed, Peter Vincent, and Jerry the Vampire? Needless to say, I was in horror heaven. I was so taken in by the house that I decided to make it into a prefab kit. It continued. A box cover design came out of it, and then assembly instructions. I was having a ball. Lastly, let's visit one of my ongoing dioramas, one which has been growing for close to two years now. I truly thought that after the 1950s monsters, it was going to be impossible to come up with really cool creatures for the screen. But gratefully, I was wrong. The alien and the predator put so many rubber-faced monsters to shame. Look at me. I've designed this diorama where they're facing off in the quiet of the forest. And to thicken the plot, I've added the wolfman, peering round the tree and observing the fight between the monsters. So whether you want to see great paint-ups on busts and bases or awesome dioramas designed with a story to boot, if you want to read fantastical tales of horror or fence, the mad monster maker is the one you want to come and see. Yes, I'll sell what I make, but always remember I do it first for the fun of it, and then I do it for the sake of art. So come on down and see the mad monster maker today. Thanks for watching everyone, and enjoy everything you do. I do.